Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through shadow paging. So this is an advanced recovery technique guys. This shadow paging is one of the most interesting topic. It is almost similar to paging guys. So it appears to be like paging in operating system, but the concept is different, but the all the diagrams and everything will be representing as paging itself. Fine. Okay. So basically we use this shadow paging because till now we'd learned about logs, right? So there are many, there are few drawbacks in logs guys. Basically the access time, the waiting time and the requirement for each and every reading everything. Even if we place checkpoints, that could be an issue. So for that reason, the shadow paging has come into play. So it requires a fewer disk access than log method. So we used a log method, right? So it is better than log method. And this paging maintains two different tables, guys. So it maintains two tables during the life cycle of transaction. When the transaction starts, both page table, both the page tables, we are having two page tables guys. So both ta page tables are identical when it starts. Okay. So the directories will be having two pages. Those page tables, those are nothing but current page table and shadow page table. So remember whatever transactions you are inserting or doing all the updates will be done in the current page table. And after commi committing the, all the data that we did till now, then the this will be copied to shadow page table. I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So let us go through the theory so that you'll be understanding. Shadow page table is a never changed over during transactions. I told you that current page table will be updated. So indirectly shadow page table will be kept constant. So current page table may change during with operations during transactions with operations. That's what I told all input output operations are done on current page table to locate database pages on the disk. Yes, I told that and store and all the storage of shadow page table is done in a non volatile storage. Please remember that guys. And when a transition commits system writes the current page table data to a non volatile storage that is nothing but your shadow page table. Fine. Now the current pa current page table then becomes the shadow page table. So we will be copying all this content here, right? So indirectly our shadow page table is now a current page table. So now you will be updating again in the current page table and this process continues. So this will be the basic representation of it guys. So let us assume this initially we are not having this green lines guys. So both are identical in the initial state. So a transaction came. So we highlighted it and it stored here. So at that moment after that happens, we'll be having here also. We'll be up copying here after committed. We'll be copying it here. So now this will be our new new table. So we'll be updating it in this. So this process continues. This is far better than log tables guys. So when the system comes back for future transactions, then it copies the updated shadow page table into the main memory and uses the current page table. So this process continues. So what will be the advantages for this? So log record overhead is removed and this method is fast recovery guys. So we can do fast recovery and we even have some problems. So the problems or drawbacks are commit overhead. So in single transaction, we find the actual data block current pages than the disk address. So this could be a problem and data fragmentation. So in the paging or in the database, we can store it at random random places. So this causes fragmentation of our data garbage collectors. When transaction commit database commits old information on to old information can be replaced by the new information. So we cannot access the old information anymore or the connections will be lost. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this uh, paging. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through arrays recovery algorithm. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.